All right. Now we're going to continue um, the percent composition problems. Now this question is titled percent composition by formula, which means the formula is given to you. So see here, the formula of copper sulfide is given to you and you're going to use the molar masses, which you find on the periodic table in order to do the calculations here. Okay, so you would look for the molar masses on the periodic table. So the first step is to calculate the molar mass of copper sulfide. Now, uh, copper one sulfide, actually. So this problem is different from the previous two problems in the sense that no numbers are actually given in the problem. All you are given is a formula, and then they ask you to tell um, us the percentage of copper uh, one in copper to sulf uh, copper one sulfide and sulfide in copper one sulfide, but seemingly there are no numbers. Again, the numbers are found on the periodic table. Okay, for this kind of problem, the first step you should do is find the molar mass. So, the molar mass of copper is going to be sixty three point five five grams per mole. That's from the periodic table. Ooh copper not carbon let me quickly erase that there we go copper is 63.55 grams per mole and we need two of them because there are two coppers over there so two coppers is 63.55 grams per mole times two and then the mass of sulfur is 32.07 again from the periodic table and there's only one sulfur so if you times 63.55 by 2, you get 127.10 grams per mole. And if you add that to, you add these two values up, you get 32.07 plus 127.10, you get 159.17 grams per mole. And that is the mass of copper one sulfide okay um okay now they want to know the percent of copper so now that you have a total mass so this is the total mass the molar mass of copper to a copper one sulfide is the total mass of copper one sulfide so now we want the percent of copper so we already know that there is 127.10 grams of copper in one mole of copper one sulfide. So that's 127.10 over 159. So part the amount of copper over the total molar mass times 100 gives us 79.85. Um, percent copper and then the percent of sulfur is super easy to find so I'll do that here percent of sulfur oops, sorry uh, percent of sulfur is actually equal to 100 minus 79.85 percent and that's going to be 20.5 one five percent of sulfur okay so super easy if you are given a formula and no numbers use the periodic table to find the molar mass of the compound and then use the masses of each element over the total molar mass to find the percentage of um, each element in that compound okay so the periodic table is your friend in this kind of problem all right now here is a problem where you have to sort of do what you did in reverse. So the percentages are given to you. They want you to figure out um, how many grams of copper are in a 38 gram sample of copper one sulfide. So 38 gram sample is the total mass and all they've given is the percentage. So it's basically the same percentage that we calculated here, right? But now the total mass is different. 
So we have to figure out, we have to basically go backwards, okay? So see how you put the mass of copper over the total mass? That is basically the ratio of copper in the total mass of copper, okay? So what we have to find out See here, you have multiplied it by 100%. So if you're given the percentage, if you multiply it by 100 to get to the percentage, in order to leave the percent, you have to divide by 100, okay? So first step in this kind of problem is to divide the percentage by 100 to get to the decimal. So we convert the percentage of copper to decimal form by dividing 79.85% by 100. So 79.85% just becomes super easy, right? Division by 100, 0 0.7985, 0 0.7985, okay? Then the total mass is 38 grams you have 38 grams of copper one sulfide. So in order to find the amount of um, copper in grams, you have to multiply the total mass, oops, multiply the total mass by the decimal point, 7985. That gives us 30.3 grams of copper, okay? So that's how you figure out um, what do you call the mass of a compound in the total mass of the compound if you are given the percentage. You take the percentage, you divide it by 100 to make it a decimal, then you take the decimal and you multiply it by the total mass to get the mass of copper in there, okay? It's basically what you did in the previous problem, but just in reverse.